back again. Maybe a little something different. So I was going through the grocery store and I was about to get some stuff. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could make a PB&J. So I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Some little something make me feel you know what I'm like I'm at home. So you need the things, you need the bread, you need the peanut butter or what they call it here, the ground nut butter and you need the jelly. So I, I got everything and we're gonna see we're gonna see how it tastes once I make it. Okay, so got everything. Um, I'm gonna use this. Oh no, that's dirty. Um, so I'm gonna use this little KFC napkin right there. Bow bow, bow bow. bow. Shmoosh, get my bread. Get my bread. Okay, that that. So, at no point did I think that this feat would be impossible. Um, I've been eating a very, a very diverse um, group of foods since I've been here, I guess. Maybe not that diverse, rice. Um, but I don't know if you can see, but it's like oily. So, uh, try to give that a mix. But yeah, at no point did I think that this would be an impossible feat. Um, ground nut is everywhere. Um, and if you know anything about peanuts, they grow on the ground. So what kind of nut would that be? A ground nut. Um, but, this look is looking like um, very natural. So, you know, for all you health nuts, I <laughs> get it, health nuts, I'm hilarious. So, um, so yeah, just, I didn't think this would be impossible because ground nut is everywhere. Um, it's just, I guess maybe I thought other people might think it would be impossible, that it might be impossible to get things that are readily available in the States or things that make it feel like this place could be home um, or just reminders of what was once home. So yeah, I think that's why I was like, yeah, let me just see if I can make a PB&J. And yeah, there's bread, <laughs> there's peanut butter and there's jelly. So what more do you need? Um, and if you like me, you went to the pool sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Hop out the pool, um, grab one of these jumps, man, with the Capri Sun on the side, and hopefully you didn't get to the bag of Lay's too late, uh, or the box, the multi-pack box, and you just be end up stuck with Fritos or something something dumb like that. And then Bama's who eat Fritos and say, oh, I like Fritos. <laughs> you, a, <laughs> you a menace to society, man. So, yep. So, boom, sandwich. Bring in the plate, cause I'm a fancy boy. And then I got some, oops. Got some chips to go with it. Some chips to go with it. A little kettle cooked. Oh, okay. Oh, and that's lunch. And that's it. Um, yeah. And so, like I said, I, I just wanted to do this just because everybody might not be like me. Um, so you might not know with the full realm of the possibilities out here. And this is just like one simple thing, like, you know what I'm saying? We had PB&J um, back in the state. So like, is it even possible to do it in Ghana? And I'm like, yeah, simple bro. Like we got fruit so you can even make your own jam. You got the ground nuts so you can make your own, your own ground nut paste. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we got bread. I don't know how to make bread, but we got the stuff, this, the stuff to do that is here as well. So even from the smallest possibilities to the biggest, man. I think, I think Ghana is a big possibility for a lot of people. So 
until next time peace i don't uh, yeah peace that's all i gotta say peace 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 peace, peace.